This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel. Today I've got one of the most famous open bolt submachine guns in history, the Swedish K, otherwise known as the Carl Gustav M45. Adopted by the Swedish Army in 1945, it had a variety of features that it got from a lot of different World War II submachine guns, but it put them together in an excellent overall package. Largely a British Sten gun with a much better magazine and a magazine that comes up from the bottom and not the side. 36 round box magazine, dual position feed, very well designed, very well made, very reliable. Unlike the Sten gun, it doesn't have a cross bolt safety in order to select semi-automatic or fully automatic. It has no semi-automatic setting, although the cyclic rate of fire right around 600 rounds a minute or so, very easy to get off single shots. It has a safety along the lines of the World War II German MP40. You take the charging handle and bring it back and put it up into this L-shaped slot and that's essentially what puts it on safe. You can lock the bolt forward like on a Sten gun by pushing the cross bolt charging handle all the way over and, and it fits in a hole recess on this side of the receiver. That locks the bolt in the forward position. Side folding stock you see here, which obviously the Danish Madsen M1950 copied from. However, this is a much better design and it has a latch that locks it in the extended position so it won't inadvertently fold on you like the one on the M1950. Ventilated barrel shroud up here, a little over an eight inch barrel. Empty, the gun is a little over seven pounds. Most famous use of the Swedish K's in Vietnam by U.S. Special Operations Forces. They like this gun a lot. Matter of fact, when the Swedes got wind of it, they embargoed export of the Swedish K, so they went to Smith & Wesson to make essentially an American version of the Swedish K in the M76. However, that gun never really saw widespread use because by the time it came online, U.S. Special Operations had kind of went in a different direction. We're fixing to light up the Swedish K for you. We have nine millimeter Magtech ammo on board. This particular one is a license built version from Egypt, known as the port said, although identical in every way to the Swedish K. Stay tuned, coming your way.